all new African voices. This week, front row to fashion's faithful. You can't run away from who you are. Whatever field you get into, you want to be different, but you can only be yourself. African Voices, only on CNN. All new Inside Africa. Unlocking the mysteries behind the continent you thought you knew. Honoring the heritage of the Cape Malays. These exiles that were brought here from Indonesia by the Dutch were actually aristocrats. Inside Africa, only on CNN. In association with Zenith Bank. There's a lot to do in New York City. To get a true taste of the town, explore one neighborhood at a time. Chelsea on the west side has a lot to offer, including sweeping views of the skyline and Hudson River from the High Line. The abandoned railway turned aerial greenway is a mile and a half long and runs from the meatpacking district all the way up to Hell's Kitchen. The High Line is easily accessible with some fun stops along the way, like unique art installations and 10th Avenue Square, an outdoor amphitheater perfect for people watching. All the walking will help you work up an appetite, so make your next stop a neighborhood staple. Cafeteria. The idea was basically to sort of reinvent an American diner or comfort food establishment. And so, kind of like give people all the stuff that they wanted, but give it to them sort of amped up. Being open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, might not seem surprising for the city that never sleeps. But Cafeteria has some truly unique features. The design is, is special. The garage doors opening to the street, which really brings the outdoors and the sirens in. But that's part of New York, and it's part of the life of New York. And, you know, I think what's really special about this place is it glows. It attracts people. It's almost like moths to a flame. The vibe is cool. The food is delicious. The restaurant specializes in making gourmet ingredients affordable and accessible through comfort classics. We have everything from, obviously, our world-famous mac and cheese to fried chicken and waffles, which is amazing, to the most incredible dessert. After embracing city life at Cafeteria, Escape the hustle and bustle at the Rubin Museum of Art. The Rubin Museum is called a museum, but it's actually an oasis. People even refer to it as that because they know they can come here and get out of the hurly-burly and craziness of New York City and Manhattan and just take refuge and, in a way, just replenish themselves. I mean, here we're exploring the big philosophies and ideas and art that comes from the Himalayas right here in the foothills of Chelsea. The museum promises visitors an experience unlike any other. They can expect to be surprised because when they step inside, they already know that the vibe is different and that there's a welcoming warmth to it, but also a little sense of adventure and mystery because you can climb up this big spiral staircase. There are these nooks and crannies that you can explore of either photography or sculpture or this extraordinary art that they've probably never encountered before from Tibet and the surrounding regions. Visiting the Rubin Museum is interactive. The Shrine Room, Meditation Classes, and Collected Spaces Bowl are just a few ways you can immerse yourself in the experience. You can even get a taste of the regions you'll learn about by making a stop at Cafe Sarai, or bring some zen into your own life at the museum shop. You might come in here exhausted after having uh, toured the whole city and gone to countless other wonderful museums, but if you leave the Rubin, you'll leave rewarded, replenished, revived. Kelly Bowman, CNN, New York.